deal. If, if we can get them on breach of contract for not providing what they signed up for, why don't we and get rid of them and get somebody better? Because I, for, I don't think anybody here wants to um, dread trash day like I do. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ann. We're ready for our next speaker. Good evening, Andrew, uh, third ward. Uh, you guys could bear with me. I've spoken here about this same uh, circumstance with no conclusion because nobody's willing to stand up for what's right, including the city council. I filed a FOIL appeal, which is a Freedom of Information Act regarding an incident I had with the police in late September of 2022, one in which the police, I believe, violated my constitutional rights. I am looking for that body camera footage. I, uh, my first FOIA request was denied. I appealed it, was denied. Filed a second FOIA request, denied. I'm going to read you the denial uh, that I got via email from uh, city clerk, Eric Selig. There are, these are the reasons why my FOIA request was denied. The police department is unable at this time to redact such video footage without undertaking or purchasing special equipment, additional personnel, and or incurring additional costs on the part of the city. A municipality is not required to purchase specialized equipment or additional personnel and or create an entirely new record in order to accommodate or customize a response to a FOIL request. That's a lie. That is a lie. I cited in my second appeal, there's case law three, took me five minutes to find it on Google. You can't use that, ex in, that excuse to deny a FOIL request. Why isn't the city being transparent? After Mr. Helton spoke, hmm, maybe it is because of uh, Izzo run for primary, don't want to you know, seem corrupted. The city is corrupt, fix it. Thank you, Andrew. We're ready for our next speaker.